I didn't want to change the look of it at all, but I didn't want it to be so rusty. It was so rusty it had a dirty feel to it, and I knew, I knew she wouldn't be happy with it that way. So I took and just coated the whole thing with a coat of varnish. I had some old varnish out there, and I just slapped it all over it. And uh, you know, it feels good to the touch now. Uh, it's still rusty. It still looks about the same. It's a little bit shiny, but other than that, uh, it's good. So the next thing I'm going to do, I've got this neck here is that I... Uh, I took a piece of oak and I patched the hole in the end of it with that piece of oak. I'm going to take a screw, looks like this here, and I'm going to drill the back of this neck and I'm going to put that screw in there. And then uh, I'm going to attach a rod that goes all the way through that banjo and I'm going to help hang my, stick the other end out the back of that can and hang my tailpiece on it. So the first thing I need to do is drill this hole and screw this into that. So that'll be step number next. I'll work on that. All right, Ben, after uh, drilling a hole in the back of that net, I uh, had a a screw that was had wood threads on one side and regular threads on the other and I screwed that into the hole here I put this little long uh, nut on here and then screwed this into it and lock it down with a nut here now I can take this and poke it down through the gas can I've done a rough measurement it's pretty darn rough because you can tell I'm gonna still have to cut off a good bit of that but uh, I can but, uh, you know, people's always saying, well, what do you use to make your hole in the gas can with? What do you use to saw that with? Well, I, I, take, I just take an old screwdriver and a hammer and just pound a hole in it. I mean, it's not like rocket science, you know. Uh, it's just a hole. You just take a screwdriver and a hammer and bang, and you got a hole. That's kind of how I do it. I will measure this up here, because I want that neck to sit right about in the middle and about that low. So what I'll do is I'll get out my little highly technical measuring instrument right here. Oh, it looks like about an inch and a half. And I'll go down about an inch and a half and I'll get me a screwdriver and I'll pound the hole right there and we'll stick it in there. I'll show you what that looks like. I don't know how, if y'all noticed how technical I was about making that hole in the bottom, but basically all I did was uh, I had my little, little uh, rod sharpened up so that I just put the neck where it looked straight and hit it with a hammer and that rod came right through the bottom of the can. So that's perfect. Now all I got to do is get me a fork and, uh, and cut the fork down and make my tailpiece out of that. Go ahead and slip this can on here that nut on the back side of it that's going to hold my fork which is also going to be my tail piece and my sticks a little crooked I might have to do some adjusting but I can I can get that tail piece to sit about where I wanted to sit and make it work I think that'll be fine I go ahead and tighten this up just so you can kind of see what it looks like Alrighty then, there we go. That's a good start on a gas can. Bling, 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 bling. Weight feels about right. Should be good. I'll uh, make my uh, I can make that work. Alright, so it's time to go make a hole in the fork.